Yes, Sanket, control is yours. Yeah, thank you, thank you, sir. So my screen is visible, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, hello, friends. Am I audible to you guys? Yes, sir. Yeah. So before we begin, let's uh, introduce uh, to each other first. Okay, at least to me, so that I should know who are the students here. Okay, and then uh, uh, we will proceed for the introduction of this class. Okay, and uh, introduction to medical imaging system also, and the different things whatever uh, there is uh, in the syllabus of GATE. Okay, that we will uh, check it out. So uh, who is going to be the first one? Uh, I can take the name Sweta. Hello, Sweta. Are you there? Hi, sir. I'm, I'm here, sir. Yeah, Hi, please, sir. please introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Shweta. I'm studying in Asia Engineering College, final year, sir. Biomedical Engineering. Final year Biomedical Engineering? Nice. Oh, very nice, very nice. So this year you are going to give the uh, GATE exam, right, in Biomedical? Nice, oh, sir. This year, nice, yeah. nice, nice. Very nice. Then Sanjana. Sanjana, are you there? Sanjana Satish. Yes, sir. Hi, uh, I'm, hello, sir. Uh, I'm Sanjana Satish. I'm currently uh, doing my third year biomedical engineering at Ishiri Engineering College. Very nice. Very nice. So you guys are in same college, right? Sweta and yes, Sanjana. Yes, sir. Very nice. And uh, next one is Andrea. Hello, Andrea. Uh, good evening, sir. Very good evening. Uh, so my name is Shonel Andrea. Uh, okay. I am pursuing my final year in biomedical in SRM IST Ramapuram. Very nice. Uh, it, Ramapuram, uh, is it in Chennai only? Yes, sir. It's uh, near Porur. Okay, okay. Very nice. So you are also in final year, right? Yeah, I am heading into my final year. Okay, you are heading into. Nice, nice. And uh, one more friend that we have, Christopher. Hi, Christopher. Uh, good evening, sir. Very good Hi, evening. Sir. Please introduce sir, yourself. I'm doing my, uh, I'm going to head into my third year in Anna USPC campus. Okay, okay. So you're also in biomedical engineering? Ah, yes, sir. Biomedical engineering. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so uh, can you tell me, guys, just only one thing? Why sir? you... Yeah, please. Sir, you just missed me, myself, Shweta. Uh, okay, sorry. So we have two Sweta, right? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. We both are classmates, sir. We are studying at the same institute, Ishwar Engineering College. Okay. So we both are heading into fourth year right now. Very nice. Very nice. Sorry for that, that I missed your name. Uh, no problem, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. So we have five in our uh, this class uh, and I expect that we will more in like upcoming classes. Good evening, so, sir. Uh, this is Vikri Sathur. I just renamed uh, myself. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, I am studying uh, at SRM Ramapuram campus, sir. Okay. Going into fourth year of biomedical engineering. Very nice, very nice. So, uh, which call is? Can you, can you tell SRM me? SRM Ramapuram, sir. Uh, okay, SRM, SRM. Nice, yes, nice. Sir. Very nice. And uh, who else is there? Avantika. Avantika, please introduce yourself. Hi, sir. Uh, this is the same Avantika or different Avantika? Different oh. Avantika, sir. Sorry. Today only joined. Okay, okay, okay. This so is my actually... demo class, actually. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Sir, so I'm heading to my final year. I'm okay. studying in SSN College of Engineering, Chennai. Which college? SSN. Okay, okay. So you are also in Biomedical Engineering? Yes, sir. Very nice, very nice. And then uh, there is Divya. Divya, are you there? Uh, sorry, actually, there is a glitch in your voice. Maybe you're not that much loud to us. Thanks, audible. Yeah, yeah. Now you are completely audible to me. Please go ahead. Yeah, so, so I'm Divya from E Roads, the Vellala College. I completed medical electronics. Okay, very nice. Is it in Chennai only? No, sir, in E Road, near Poimato. Okay, okay, you wrote. Very nice. So you have done your engineering, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Medical electronics. Medical electronics. Very nice. Very nice. And then uh, we have uh, 
bliss sh- shiny or shiny oh, bliss shiny shiny bliss shiny uh actually sorry for that but you are not exactly audible to me can you can you be a louder please you are actually audible but uh, you have to be a louder okay okay uh, so i have uh, completed my uh, studies and i'm right now back in sir okay is it okay for okay, sir it's not any so uh, this is really good uh, you know like i'm i'm feeling uh, something you know that you call influencing somebody is working and attending the class and then planning for something like uh, you know competition kind of stuff it's really great thank you sir that's nice actually only one thing that i'll tell you you have to be organized okay just plan yourself don't miss anything and don't postpone anything just plan your time like uh, whatever the 24 hours that you have okay just plan each and every moments of your time and then you will be like a kind of i can i can say you that you will be the great the kind of ideal for the students okay only one thing that you have to be organized thank you so much i'm going to be advised thank you so much uh again you are not actually audible to me <laughs> maybe the connection right over here uh, is somewhat uh, no less or i don't know sir uh, not any so not a, not any so you have sufficient time this year okay just start plan fr- from like step 1 make plan a uh, uh, that you are going to complete in you know i i'll, I'll discuss uh, about this plan and its strategy okay N- not only for you it will be for all okay thank you so thank you yeah so don't don't uh, like uh, you know uh, be confused don't be uh, scared we are here only one thing that you have to do it's all about you have to be organized okay yes. whatever is going to be there in the class whatever is going in your work okay just you have to manage somehow and then uh, you have to continue that's it fine yes, sir. thank you sir nice nice all right and uh, one more student that we have anushka anushka are you there yes sir good evening sir very good evening how are you i am good sir so sir, i am i am studying in satyabhama university final year biomedical engineering very nice so you are uh, going to give uh, uh, this year gate 2024 yes sir. yes sir very nice very nice yeah so is there somebody to whom i missed no one right okay so hello friends let me let me introduce uh, uh, myself so my name is ankit tiwari okay and uh, i have completed my masters from iit madras in 2022 okay and uh, before that i was teaching before that i was doing the job i have done my masters in 2017 okay 2017 to 20 i i was teaching to by juice students then multiple st- institutes in between and uh, in this institute also uh, i am here since last year so i am taking care about all the medical subjects that uh, medical subject means biomedical syllabus okay including five subjects most probably you will be uh, there in my apt class also and uh, signal and system class as well okay so this is what about me and uh, yep so let's start now the subject for which you are here uh, you you can see my screen right guys yes, yes sir just a minute please okay so uh, you know very well uh, in biomedical uh, subject for gate there are five uh, subjects right and all five subjects have a kind of almost uh, uh, on an average equal weightage if you take uh, medical imaging system if you take uh, uh, what uh, hap if you take uh, uh, instrumentation these three subjects are like on an average uh, they are coming kind of similar uh, marks and weightage okay only bio material uh, sometimes it comes for six marks sometimes it for seven marks okay but mis that you are going to uh, you know like uh, just a minute why it is not coming fine so uh, mis medical imaging system this particular subject uh, 
that I'm going to take. Okay. And, uh, you know, there will be five different topics in this particular uh, uh, subject. We will discuss about the syllabus. Okay. Before that, you should know what is the weightage, what different topics uh, you are going to study in this particular subject. Okay. So see, this is the syllabus given by the gate uh, community, right? You can say gate community, you can say gate authorities also. So you know very well, there are seven IITs plus one ISC, right? So these are what? Gate authority. Gate authority means these people are seven old IITs and one ISC. These people are actually making your paper for gate examination year wise. So it's a kind of cycle. Okay. So let's say IIT Bombay started in the first year, IIT Madras, IIT Kanpur, Rodeki, Khadakpur, this kind of IITs. Okay, only old IITs. They are designing you the paper. So why, why I'm telling you this? Because which IIT is actually organizing this year gate, the question paper is going to be actually based on this particular IIT and their interest. Okay, let's say uh, this is IIT Kanpur. So IIT Kanpur is actually, they are working in biology basically. Okay, so biology means uh, you will be actually heading uh, more questions from HAP or maybe from instrumentation. This kind of uh, uh, subjects will be in priority. That means weightage will be more for these subjects. If it is IIT KGP, that means Khadakpur. So what, what will be there? They are actually in uh, uh, imaging. So MIS, this particular subject will be in more weightage. If it is IIT Madras, then what will be there? Uh, they are actually working more and more in sensors and instrumentation. So this particular subject will be in priority and they will be asking more questions from this particular subject. So this is why variation is there in, uh, you know, like let's say in 2020. Okay. For example, we will see, uh, you know, just, just a minute here itself. Just see MIS in 2020, this was of 13 marks in 21, 12 marks, right? In 2022, nine marks. See, so uh, because of different IITs, weight is, is going to be changed. Okay, we will we will see uh, uh, how many marks uh, from which particular topic. What is the different kind of level? Whether it is easy, hard, moderate. What is there? We will see each and everything. Uh, 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 you know, in detail while solving the questions. As I told, this is just an introductory class. I'll be telling you what to study in medical imaging system. That's it. Okay, and how we are going to uh, study this particular subject. So for that, what is needed? Something that you call index, something that you call uh, syllabus, because you have to plan your whole subject as per your syllabus, right? So see here, first is your basic physics. What will come here? Different kind of signal systems, right? This, this thing, things will come here, signal system, okay, and few formulas, it will come here and how X-ray work, how CT work, uh, how MRI works. These all things will come into basic physics of your uh, MIS, medical imaging system. Okay. Then uh, once you will be like uh, well and good with your uh, physics, next, what, what is there? Instrumentation. Okay. Now you know physics, just apply this. So where you will apply uh, this knowledge in instruments. And what, what these instruments will be called? X-ray machine, CT machine, MRI machine, different kind of ma machines will be there. And what they will be doing? They will be forming some images. So see here, you will have image formation techniques. Okay. So basically, uh, wh what is this? Nothing but you are going to have images. This whole topic, the whole subject is all about image. But this is not a kind of normal image. This is actually going to be uh, taken from a biological body that is medical images. Okay. So which is really different from normal images. Now you can ask why sir it is different because let's say if you are capturing a particular photo from your mobile phone, it is easy to say, uh, it is blur. The pixels are not good because you don't need these many informations, but when it comes to your body, the kind of very pictorial views, very fine views, very fine pixels are actually required. Why is that so? Because let's say there is a tumor inside a cell, right? And if you don't have the picture clarity, that means if you don't have the pixel quality, what will happen? You will not be able to identify the, this particular tumor cell. And later on, this will be converted into cancerous cell that you know very well. 
right so the picture quality which means pixel quality is really important and how you are going to form this picture how you are going to scan it how you are going to reframe it these all things are going to be studied in this particular subject okay so what is this i told you about the physics then where you are going to apply but now you should know what are different techniques of imaging that you call modalities see here modalities uh, they are like basically they are in, uh, they are in five in numbers as you can see x ray computed tomography single photon emission computed tomography positron emission tomography and mri that you call magnetic resonance imaging and last one is ultrasound these are basically different modalities and we will be going in very depth of different modalities okay like let's say x ray so in x ray what we are going to study here different kind of image formation techniques how they are performing the radiography how the image is actually scanned first then how they are getting the data back so that they can tell okay this is how the image is formed okay because in general what is there in camera you have you have a camera in your mobile phone right you click it and the picture comes into your screen how this is happening how uh, something is getting captured and the same thing whatever is there is coming into your screen that you call image processing right so this modality is how it is working that we will uh, we will be studying in very uh, detail okay and similarly to all uh, modalities like ct mri ultrasound okay these all things so in simple what is there first of all we will go for physics then where to apply and then all different modalities but trust me this is not a kind of hard subject not a kind of easy subject so if you are in biomedical engineering okay you should be actually interested to know about the technology involved in uh, scanning of your body how your body is getting scanned how any different medic medical or biological bodies are getting scanned and how very detailed image images are getting formed you should be interested to know about this just forget about your gate and everything as of now because if you are interested definitely you know the knowledge of this gate exam the questions will come automatically but you should be interested why because let's say uh, you know uh, one of your belonging one of your relative they are into uh, they are in a kind of hospital and the doctor suggested mri is needed so as a biomedical engineer you should be able to discuss with the doctor sir why mri is needed why this same job cannot be done with ct scan why the same job cannot be done with ultrasound why this job cannot be done with x ray if i have different modalities why to go to the higher end version directly why should i go for pet which is a kind of very high very high end version as of now so if your doctor is telling sonography is needed you should know as a biomedical engineer what different kind of technologies are actually there how that uh, how uh, this is going to do the job what is this job scanning and why it is being done you should be able to discuss uh, with doctor and with your like relative also okay because of this and this reason you are actually being asked to go for mri or for any different modalities understood till till this point clear guys what is the importance yes. of this topic yes, uh, this subject yes, everyone yes sir guys there are two two ways to uh, approach uh, to this subject okay first i will have complete monopoly okay and i'll be speaking continuously this is first i should speak continuous second way interaction that if you understand you will be talking about the same thing so that we can discuss we should be in a common platform that okay you are understanding because i am not here to just complete the topic i am not here to complete and finish the subject and okay just sleep i am here to give you as a biomedical engineer why these all different subjects like hap uh, mis biomaterials uh, instrumentation 
or maybe uh, any other topics also which is not from biomedical why these subjects are important for an engineer for uh, you know uh, if you are an engineer why it is really important for you as at least as a biomedical engineer because let's say uh, you know uh, a, 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 you are in a, again same scenario you are in hospital okay and one friend from computer science background and you from uh, biomedical uh, background you two uh, you two guys went to hospital now doctor is telling hey uh, for your relative mri is needed now cs guy he is also telling the same reason and you as a biomedical engineering uh, engineer student you are also telling the same reason, uh, reason and explanation and maybe sometimes you don't know why mri suggested then what what is the difference between you and a computer science engineer or maybe any non technical person if you don't know the steps involved in this if you don't know the technology involved in this why it is needed how it is being done i'm not telling you i'm not asking you to be the master of this but as an uh, you know as a biomedical engineer this this must be your top priority that you should know all different technology involved in this okay so for that you have different references the books as you can see introduction to biomedical imaging by andrew rw this is the top most and preferred and the uh, you, the priority will be given to this jl prince medical imaging signal and system by jl prince actually you know like in 2020 and 2021 uh, gate people they have asked direct question from this book they just have modified the data only and they asked the question from this book itself and still it is being used in uh, most of the iits okay so this is the top most uh, you should have at least this particular book okay and then you can you can prefer this also this this book okay the essential physics of medical imaging system so basically all uh, you know see in all books the first thing is mentioned is physics it means you should know the basic the basics of this particular subject is really needed because the rest of things are going to be same only very 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 little very fine change will be there okay let's say you are in x ray in ct there will be just transducer, uh, transducer and uh, receiver that's it nothing will be changed but if you know the physics of scanning if you know the physics of image formation definitely you will be able to understand this subject in depth which is really important which is the aim of this particular class okay so don't uh, like mistake me don't uh, think that okay sir is just going to talk about how to score uh, 10 marks or 14 marks or 20 marks in gate from this particular subject okay this is by default this is like uh, inherited in this particular subject but then uh, the more main motto of this class is what to transfer the knowledge to become the knowledgeful uh, as a biomedical engineer why it is really important okay so this is other, other book one more book that you can prefer uh, this particular book introduction to medical imaging again physics engineering and clinical applications by again the same uh, same writer andrew webb but here one more uh, uh, person is there barry smith but at least you should have one book don't uh, uh, you know see you must have one source and repeat it as many times as you can that's it that should be your common uh, uh, what you can say funda okay only one thing that you have to take one source only any one book along with this class class is like compulsory okay don't miss any class class is compulsory take one book repeat as many time as you can what will happen at one point of will start raising in your mind automatically okay why i didn't understand this particular matter before when i started this kind of questions this kind of concern this kind of thought process will automatically come in your mind once you will repeat the same topic again and again but don't uh, don't mug up you should not go for road study and not asking you to mug up i am asking you to analyze the subject to go as many as times uh, that you can in the same path okay whatever uh, same path means let's say uh, i am I, i have i taught you about x ray physics okay now you should start x ray physics uh, in the classroom then go back again uh, uh, you know like again think about the uh, same topic that we have covered this this was x ray watch the video again and then take up uh, take a book whatever is uh, like mentioned in the book J just 
match the same thing understand uh, what was uh, like being discussed in the classroom and then you will feel okay this particular thing that i missed this particular thing that i didn't understand in the class this particular thing i am not able to rectify uh, from these two sources i should ask again in the classroom then only you will be ready to ask any question otherwise senseless questions will be coming why why is this, why is this why is, uh, this is not this kind of questions will come but once you will complete this step what attend the class go back watch the same video again take a book again uh, read the book don't never ever i am very careful when i am saying this okay and you should be very attentive never ever skip reading the book of any topic of any subject at least you should have one book and you should at least read the book one or two or three pages or maybe the same topic whatever we have discussed in the classroom just go back and read the book why is that so reading the book is not uh, that that does not mean that we are not covering anything and you you have to be like dependent upon one more source uh, this is uh, not the meaning when when i am saying that you have to go back and read the book it means you will be ready more and more with the content in your mind which is really important for you right what is important to you to understand that subject to understand the topic and by looking in the uh, uh, in the same topic with two different methods will give you more and more what contrast okay and so that your resolution will be very high okay and you will be very very smart enough to talk about the same topic once you will be discussing with your friends or with your professors or maybe anywhere so these are different uh, 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 kind of references and this is how you have to proceed with uh, this subject is that clear to you guys any any question any doubt no sir so everyone is that clear yes sir nice okay so this is how the marks are distributed in the gate okay the first thing that we have discussed this was how you should prepare uh, this particular subject and second what is the weightage as you can see in 2020 13 marks straight forwardly they have asked 13 marks if out of 100 13 marks are uh, from this only one subject and uh, imagine that you have scored all 13 marks plus 30 marks from from your aptitude and uh, that you call normal maths see what is going to happen you will be scoring if let's say if your uh, accuracy is very high up to 100% so you will be scoring 43 marks do you know what is the meaning of 43 marks you will be in single digit rank 1 to 9 okay your rank will be somewhere here in 43 marks see the weightage of this particular subject only one subject out of 7 to 9 subject is actually capable of making you under single digit rank okay so uh, don't uh, underestimate this subject or don't think okay why i am uh, like uh, studying this uh, i i told you right marks will come automatically don't think about the marks think about the content you have to actually gather capture the content whatever you can this is what your priority should be this is how you, your mentality should be marks are very very easy to score in biomedical only the thing is this you should be in uh, in such a stage with your mind preparation that actually you are going to think about content not the marks okay and if you are uh, like rich in your content marks are like uh, you know uh, they are kind of by product they will come automatically so see on an average 11 10 to 11 uh, marks are coming okay so uh, you can make 12 marks will be for sure from this particular sub, uh, su subject whether this is one iit or some other iits okay this is old iit or iit bombay madras which ever the iit is going to organize the gate 2024 Uh, irrespective of the iit on an average 10 to 12 marks are going to be there for sure okay so uh, uh, let's suppose if your accuracy is very good and if uh, if you have understood each and everything from this uh, uh, subject 
you will be able to score more than 10 marks greater than 10 marks easily and 10 marks from uh, only one subject and again let's say that you have scored 25 marks from your aptitude part that means you you have more than 95% accuracy 90% accuracy so 25 plus 10 you are qualified in your gate exam irrespective or uh, irrespective of your category general obc st sc whatever you are just qualified with the help of only one subject okay so uh, this is how this subject is actually important for you whether you uh, whether you talk about the knowledge whether you talk about the marks whatever okay so it's really a kind of very interesting and good subject you should actually love it okay so we have discussed so many things all uh, you know like uh, pluses the minus thing is what with this subject you know these uh, whatever i have discussed so far these are the positives of this subject what is the negative of this subject actually this is very lengthy subject one negative second if you are good at maths you will be very very smart you will be very advanced to learn this subject let's say person a and person b uh, are there a and b okay this person is very good in maths plus minus subtraction division this kind of and this person is uh, like he is kind of moderate or average okay so he will be uh, uh, you know like he will be slow he will he will not be moving he or she will not be moving with the pace so this is the negative and if there is negative it does not mean this is the reason to be to not be successful you can be successful again the same thing repeat only one thing is there repeat as many times as you can if it is maths or any other subject okay you have to actually develop the logical ability that's it nothing else whether you are talking about any subject medical subject non medical subject okay technical subject non technical subject general subject financial medical whatever the subjects you are talking about if you are weighing philosophical if you are weighing spiritual technical non technical whatever the subjects and domains that you know only one thing is needed to be the best what is that to develop logical ability there is a darwin principle if you know darwin principle talks about the survival of the fittest and what is the uh, like core principle to be logical to to be analytical and that that is what you have to be if you are going to be analytical if you are going to be logical definitely all subjects are going to be easy for you and how this particular ability will be developed only one thing is there repeat as many times as you can and understand in different different dimensions not only one i'm not again i'm not asking you to mug up anything don't go for like a rote study okay only one thing think about different different dimensions in different different domains of same topic if you can do this definitely you are going to learn any subject faster than any other person clear is that clear guys yes sir nice so let's start this uh, this particular subject that you call medical imaging system okay so this is nothing as i told what is this medical imaging medical means what any body as of now uh, we are interested in human body okay but that does not limit only to human nowadays we are scanning other uh, let's say other creatures also maybe dog cat uh, lion tigers anything right we are scanning to them as well so medical imaging means any biological body but in this subject we have more interest on human body this is why in uh, in all these definitions human bo body is written but again this is not limited only to human body so what is this how you can create the image of human body that is what is going to be discussed in medical imaging systems okay system means how many ways that you have uh, of scanning the human body and why you are interested to uh, do the scanning because you want to treat it you want to know about uh, different uh, you know like uh, diseases you want to know about uh, uh, how uh, you know different kind of things were there before and how you can improve it right so so for that you will be actually monitoring the situation 
right so for that what is needed let's say situation 1 that that was day 1 on day 1 you have done a kind of a scanning right and you told okay this was the scenario on day 10 the, uh, this was different thing right and now you are telling okay now this is how it is uh, today so now you you will be having some comparative study okay it is changed this much so you will be telling okay there are some changes uh, so that this is required on the behalf of this let's say you don't have the images then what will uh, what you will do you will be looking from outside only and what is happening inside how you are going to tell nothing right let's say that you are inside a home right people those who are outside of your wall outside of your gate they don't know what is happening inside when the person will come out of the home then only other person will be able to talk about what is uh, what was there inside but what will happen many things will be missed whatever was happening inside the home inside the room right the same, same the same thing if you make an analogy the same thing applies uh, to imaging system also if you are not you uh, are doing the if you are not looking inside of a body what will happen when something will change when something will happen maybe disease maybe anything right that can be anything it will be too late to know the exact reason if you are not doing the scanning if you are not making the images so for that medical imaging is really important right so let's say you uh, uh, somebody is uh, you know met with with an accident for example two wheeler accident okay now some injuries are there in in any joints what will happen outside there will be some swelling but what is happening inside who will tell you there should be some technology right in this scenario medical imaging come into the picture different kind of systems those are there it will come into the picture okay so uh, for all parts of body starting from your head up to your foot for all part of your body there are dedicated system uh, systems you cannot use x ray uh, like in all parts of your body you cannot use like let's say for example ct scan in all parts of your body now you can ask why sir because specific organs needs need a kind of specific investigations whatever the inspection that you are going to do it is needed to be scanned thoroughly let's say if it is x ray it cannot do the scanning of soft bones with high reference with high resolution and then the information will be missed and if the information in, uh, is missed definitely the same results will come out whatever uh, was there without imaging the same will be there with imaging if you are using the x ray as your scanning modalities this is why different different modalities are there in all the modalities starting from x ray your resolution is going to be high your implementation application of different modalities are going to be changed okay and uh, uh, in very recent people are working in pet positron emission tomography this is very high end version very dedicated specialized type types of scanning we will discuss about this also okay so what you are going to do using these all modalities nothing but you will be actually creating the visual representation of what of the interior part of your uh, of your human body or uh, as of now as i told human body uh, is our interest any uh, biological body you can say and why it is needed because you are you want to diagnose it right so for that we have x ray ct mri ultrasound we will see uh, each and every modalities one by one okay but before we should directly jump into those all modalities you should know uh, the significance the importance of medical imaging system although i have discussed but it was a kind of very brief overview let's dive into some details let's say for example diagnosing medical conditions okay so uh, if if you are feeling any kind of abnormalities you are feeling means what there there are cells inside your body right and if you have some abnormalities by default there will be some changes in your cells and if there are some changes by default uh, uh, yeah, sorry if there are some changes in your tissues what will happen you know very well right from cell to tissue to your organs right 
if you have gone through my HAP classes, I have uh, explained uh, the order, how your body is going to be formed, right? So if something is getting changed in your cell, by default, there will be some changes in tissue and then by default in organs and by default in your body, right? Because organs are uh, organized in organ systems. So if something is happening to your cell, by default, it will reflect to your body at the end of the day, right? And uh, then you want to know what is the changes, what are different changes is happening in my body so that I can diagnose it. So maybe this is like required, this is not required anything, but you want to know what are the changes, right? So you can say these are the abnormalities and that you want to diagnose and how you will be doing after visualization, then only it will be right. You want to visualize it. So once you have the visuals of those all things, then only you will be able to diagnose it. Otherwise you will be just giving the painkiller or something, whatever the person is going to take, uh, you know, like tell that is what is happening uh, to me. So just on the behalf of, in the basis of, in the reference of a patient's verbal, uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, information, you will be giving a different kind of treatment, but this is not going to be the exact uh, thing, right? This is not going to be appropriate, uh, uh, what do you call diagnosed to the patient. You want to know the exact information so that you can provide the proper uh, diagnos uh, diagnostic uh, treatment, right? So visuals are important in this case. Then once you have the visuals, then you will be going for treatment planning, right? Let's say again, the same thing, uh, the uh, bike accident, right? So if there are any uh, like abnormal things are happening uh, in that is, uh, let's say this is knee joint, okay? If any things are happening in knee joints, so first of all, you have to localize it. Localize means you have to actually be focused in one point out of whole body that you call localization, where the problems are actually coming out. That means accident happened in at your no joint that you have to localize. Then let's say now this is your knee. Okay. So whether whole knee is injured or this particular point is injured or what is the size of this uh, particular impact, right? So that you can plan your treatment. I have to treat here all the whole body, uh, whole this knee joint. That means first of, first of all, localization, then the size. And once you know the size, then you will be interested to know whether bone is uh, like raptured, whether only cells are actually raptured or injured or whether nerve cells are different kind of, uh, you know, uh, let's say fluids are actually uh, getting mixed up. That means characteristics of this particular, uh, you know, location that you want to know what is happened here in, in this point. So after localization, you have uh, decided the size after size, you are uh, interested to know, uh, you know, different characteristics involved here. What is actually happened here so that you can plan your treatment accordingly. Right. Okay. Now there are different, different kind of, uh, okay. So you are planning for diagnose, uh, like diagnosing a particular disease. Now you have planned for treatment, but now you are interested to know whether I should go for invasive or non-invasive. If it is non-invasive or invasive, whether it is minimal or maximal. Okay. So let's say uh, if it is PET or if it is a different kind of modalities. So if it is invasive, right, it means it has to go inside. That means if let's say if it is, uh, uh, you know, uh, a camera is or any probe or any uh, scatter uh, or any kind of catheter is inserting into your body. So whether it is paining, whether it, uh, whether you have to cut, make, uh, you have to give a kind of cut in, in your body, this kind of things has to be decided in this minimally invasive processors. And who will tell this? The visuals. Let's say if very fine, very fine damage has been done inside, that means in the cell level. So can, uh, uh, and it has been decided by scanning. 
there are some uh, you know uh, abnormal things happening in in the cell then very fine cut will be needed and who told you to, uh, to do this this visual right all the visuals that you have collected uh, of this particular location the size the characteristics will tell you okay go for invasive or non invasive methods of diagnose uh, diagnosing the uh, like the uh, uh, patient okay so that you can minimize the kind of exploratory surgeries that means very huge service, uh, surgeries in which blood cuts are going to be very huge okay so nowadays this is why imagings are actually being preferred so that you can minimize the kind of exploratory surgeries because uh, if you see in the cancer if you see almost in any disease treatment the kind of things are going is what image guided biopsies image guided treatment that you call radiology those all things in general in medical terminologies are called as radiology okay so what what this radiology is doing it is giving you visual so that you can decide okay this is what i want want to do in this particular uh, like uh, area of my body that's it okay so these these are not limited okay there are many things okay like if you see patient safety let's say uh, you know there are two methods one is this imaging system and other is uh, non imaging system okay imaging system means you have done some uh, imaging of uh, you have taken some visuals of a uh, you know of a, of a location and here uh, you you don't have any 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 visuals of any location you are just going to cut the part uh, to know what happened inside now see where will be more pain where will be more loss where will be like uh, 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 time will be uh, more and the most important thing what will be the result at the end if you are going directly for the cut and let's say for uh, uh, if uh, this was not a kind of impact area impact happened somewhere here then what will happen you cut the whole part here to to uh, know okay there was some impact but nothing was there it was here it means you have to make one more cut to see what is happening inside right so what is happening actually patient safety is getting decreased the results are getting de uh, decreased efficiency is getting decreased productivity is getting decreased and by default cost is going to be very high so cost is okay but if you are doing this much what will happen if this patient is no more at the end of the day right so that is what is actually required to make to secure to give the maximum level of safety to follow the standard what is important image guided diagnose uh, diagnostic treatments okay so these are uh, this kind of uh, things that you can consider now you you can uh, ask sir why you are uh, like specifying these many uh, things in very detail that we know very well uh, uh, you know why we are going for medical imaging systems and uh, why we are uh, going for scanning that you know very well because without this you do we will not have any interest right i i took to uh, one example of knee uh, uh, knee accident something happened to your knee right let's say some something happened to your large int uh, intestine now the same technology you cannot use here because here kind of bunch of tissues are there here bunch of tissues along with your bones are there so here a kind of very detailed and which can penetrate more is required here which can penetrate easily and uh, the impact should be here only not all different parts so two different uh, um, uh, intensity modalities are needed right and similarly when you need more and more details then you will be going for maybe mri and if you need very fine detail you will be going for pet and even if you need more details let's say uh, for example million times zoom if you want to know what is happening inside the cell million times of uh, you know like uh, resolution that you want then what will happen you will be going for research right so here research will come into the picture because you don't know uh, what will happen then what what will you do 
you will be going for uh, doing like more research. Okay, I I I want to know uh, if uh, this can be done using this method or not. Okay, let's uh, introduce one more new method. This is how from X-ray CT came, from CT uh, MRI came, from MRI PET came. Okay, and more things using some uh, that you call piezoelectric crystals are coming into the picture. Okay, so that body also can give the input. As of now, you are giving the input. Uh, some echo concepts are there. Some uh, reflection concepts are there. But here, your body is just reflecting, just working as a common environment, nothing else. But let's say if your body is also going to give the input, that means there will be one input from your sensor and one input from your body. That means more and more uh, that you call like uh, precision and resolution will come into the picture. So this kind of researches are also going on, right? The same thing. You are still uh, like interested to know a very fine part of your body, but see how many things are there. So it's a very vast area, very kind of open area. It's not like that, okay, uh, CT scanners are there, MRI scanners are there, that's, uh, that's it. Okay. So as a biomedical engineer, it was just a kind of, you can say overview of medical imaging systems. We didn't talk about, uh, you know, what, uh, like the physics, we didn't talk about any technical stuff. Whatever the perspective that I made for this subject was really important to understand the importance of the topics that we are going to discuss later. Okay, understood guys? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, so all are there or many people left? Yes, sir. Understood. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very nice. Yes, sir. Very nice. Be be active, guys. You know, because you know, like I, I I told you, right? There are two ways. One, monotonous, that I am delivering everything, and you are like, okay, uh, there is some, you know, kind of uh, uh, worship is going on, and only uh, you, you as a you know, like you are doing worship and you have to offer the uh, all the worship to God. <laughs> okay, this is one way. Otherwise, like your God is also interacting to you. That means you and me, we are actually interacting so that, you know, like I will feel a uh, more uh, different kind of, let's say uh, I told, uh, I discussed something about X-ray. Okay. And uh, I told you many questions, but maybe any one of you can ask a very simple, silly, or maybe very advanced or maybe intermediate question that I didn't th uh, think in my mind. And this will help you to improve. This will help others to improve if you will interact. Otherwise, whatever I am going to deliver, I only will be delivering. You won't be able to ask any questions. And sometimes this is also true. If you are not going to interact, if you're not going to ask what will happen, most probably you're not understanding. This is also true in most of the cases. Okay. But make sure that uh, uh, this is not actually happening in our class. Fine. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so I, I told you about different modalities like X ray, CT scanners, uh, ultrasound. Okay, let's, let's discuss about this. Okay, so the first one is X ray. Okay, see. As of now, I'm not going to go into the details. As, as I told, this is very introductory class. So I'll be just touching the superficial level of a particular topic. Later on, once we will jump into uh, these all topics, we will go one by one. Okay, I'm just giving you the overview so that you can uh, understand. Uh, you can actually, you know, like make a kind of comprehensive and compact overview of the whole uh, to uh, topics that we are going to discuss in this uh, um, subject. So one is X-ray. What is this X-ray? The modalities. And what is this modality? Modality of medical imaging. That means how you are going to make the image of the human body. Okay. So basically what is this X-ray? A, a kind of beam that you call radiation beam. Yeah. Okay. So what will happen? A radiation beam will be there, which will pass from somewhere. Okay, and it will be directed on a particular film. Okay, and what will be this film? At where your image 
is actually going to be reframed okay so basically different kind of hard tissues like bones organs okay this kind of very hard tissues very hard structure of your body this is going to be actually scanned by uh, this x ray fine my my video is getting stuck guys is it no sir no sir okay fine because uh, this is just uh, just now have seen my video is like no uh, i am just like jiggling my head like this only okay so sometimes it's not clear exactly what you are saying is clear but your face is not clear okay fine you you can uh, you can hear me like continuously yeah, right sir. Then... yeah sir yeah yeah okay fine there should not be any interruption to understand fine okay so x ray is what a kind of radiation which will be passed through uh, any part of your body okay and this will be transformed or reformed or reframed into a film or maybe in a digital sensor and as i told this will be actually used for very hard structures like bones okay so this is about your x ray then ct what is this computed tomography so if you see computed tomography what do, what does it mean whatever the concept is actually used in x rays the same concept will be used in your ct also but only one thing will be there in x ray there was only one source here and there was a body here okay and there was a film okay so if something let's say this is the source here something uh, some body is there okay and it is actually uh, getting reframed here because of visual representations it it has passed penetrated your body and some inter uh, intensity came out of this uh, body and uh, it is framed or restructured here in this film okay so there was only one source and one detector in computer tomography there will be many these all things will be arranged in a structure like the same thing here okay these are your these are your sources and there will be the detect, detect, uh, detectors also so that cross sectional images can be formed okay what is this cross sectional image should be formed why because you have different sources you have different detectors so if, if you have different detectors if you have different transmitters definitely more uh, images will come out that means one thing will be actually viewed from different different angles this is what computed tomography means it will be having some see here it will be having a, a kind of ring structure okay and uh, you will be asked to lie down here okay and then what will happen uh, uh, in this uh, machine there will be some that you call uh, detectors and transmitters so they will be just just transmitting uh, you know uh, uh, whatever the informations that they are actually capturing and receivers they will be uh, receiving it fine so the same concept nothing different only one thing they have arranged in a structured way that's it so this is about your ct but here only one thing again means ct also can be utilized in hard structure okay that and uh, being more technical it should be applied only in hard structures like bones but when if you want pictures with more details why because the same concept we are using again what x ray concept right understood are you getting the idea guys hello yes sir yes sir so x ray and computer tomography in both modalities we are going to use the x ray concept we will jump into the physics and we will look how they are going to just to make the overview okay so what happened in x ray there was one source then there was some body then there was a film so this is how uh, x ray was done here in computer tom tomography again the same x ray sources but here transmitters and uh, uh, receivers are going they uh, few will be transmitting few will be receiving so then comes into the uh, ultrasound 
okay so what what is going to happen you know very well ultrasound what is this nothing but but kind of sound waves okay so what will happen uh, you know the very well right let's say you you went to some hail station right and then you are just making a kind of voice uh, like hello hi whatever or you are just uh, chanting your name like i am ankit so what happens in hill stations if there are the, uh, if there are the hills it echoes right then it also says hi ankit hello ankit hello ankit many times what is this your voice is get going there then it is just on the walls on the hills on the stones on the rocks and then it is coming back this particular thing is called as echo the same concept is going to be uh, like utilized here in ultrasound imaging also so there will be some sound waves very high intensity sound wave they will they will be implanted or transferred from one source to your body they will travel here they will go and will see the source they will travel until they are not like refracted because they have to come back with the information right so they will go and so here this probe will have two thing one will be transmitting one will be receiving this will be called as echo so it will go there it will scan the area and it will come back what is this scanning this is going here okay and it will penetrate how depth it is penetrated okay it will be uh, like explained by this this returning guy who is going back to the probe and here will be some uh, some computer with some software will be there and they will be analyzing okay this much depth it has this sound wave has traveled this may, it means this much frequency has been there okay so original size they will be having the reference so original size is this much but uh, let's say depth uh, from top to bottom is this much but now in this case whether this is increased enlarged or maybe decreased so this guy will tell the depth and what is this depth nothing but sound wave traveled traveled distance that's it that is what it uh, that is how the ultrasound is going to work okay so if you see what what this sound is doing it is going and coming back it means it is not actually penetrating all other very hard tissues or any other very soft tissues that means it should be utilized in very soft tissues so that you can know okay what is happening here because sound wave let's say if it is bone it will go and come back it means if something is there inside the bone it it will not be able to tell you why because it cannot penetrate the bone it don't it does not have actually this much huge uh, penetration or maybe that you can that you can say resolution it it won't be going inside this bone it means if there is some able to tell you this means ultrasound has to be actually apply uh, you know like you have to use this ultrasound only in where in soft tissues applications maybe muscles tendons blood vessels if you see this diagram this uh, lady nurse she is scanning this uh, uh, mother's you know like abdomen to see uh, if you if you know uh, this area uh, it is actually there are very very less bones almost no veins other than in, in your back right because you have large intestine uh, small intestine kidney liver multiple structures are there right and even in valley uh, if you if you go back to your human anatomy and physiology and if you if you recall uh, the basic uh, concept of the human body so you will find very less or almost no bones in this area this is why this lady or this nurse or maybe any doctors are actually suggesting to do sonography that means ultrasound imaging here sonography means ultrasound imaging clear so for soft tissues you have to use what ultrasound clear now you need more details that means if you want to go deeper into the cell deeper into the bone what happened inside whatever is respective of soft tissues or hard tissues are irrespective of a uh, hard structure or soft structure if you want more and more detail you would be interested to scan with mri why because
means that they are going to use is nothing but magnetic field. So the radio waves will enter into your body. Okay, and they uh, what what will be there? There will be some magnetic environment, and what it will do? It will actually, uh, you know, whatever the process was happening here, it uh, you know, uh, let's say for example, this is normal body. See if this is normal body. Okay, so what will happen? You can do X-ray, but what X-ray will tell you the structure about the bones. If it is ultrasound, structure about this, but you want more detail here. So first of all, you have to create the environment here so that whatever the process processes are happening here, you should be able to visualize it properly. For that, what some what magnetic field. So if you if you recall the uh, MRI machines. you know very huge ring kind of things is there in the stretcher you know this kind of a structure right so this particular patient who is lying on this uh, bed what will happen this guy will be actually put on this electromagnetic field okay and what will happen here in electromagnetic field very high very high radio waves will be coming but again very high means again what is the focus area if it is let's say for example knee okay so very high means uh, in this kind of hard structure if you want to scan very high radio waves will be like implanted here if it is abdomen if it is brain again brain has very uh, you know different different kind of bones right so again it a kind of hard, hard structure so radio waves very high radio waves very high uh, intensity radio waves will be like transferred from the source to your uh, brain and again the same concept what receiver and transmitters they will be doing the scanning and capturing the data right so what what else has been done here the kind of this electromagnetic environment to expel the process why now it is really interested to know because here what will happen you know very well our body has water right more than 70% of our body is made up of water so with this electromagnetic medium what will it, what will happen the whole body will actually uh, will act with what it will act with uh, your electromagnetic environment so it will actually exp uh, expel your process okay whatever the process is going on it will work as catalyst just a minute please uh, excuse me guys yeah so it will work as catalyst for your radio waves so that enter from one end uh, one end and it should pass the like spot area and it should go back here and it should capture all the information whether it is about your uh, normal cells whether it is about your bones soft structure hard structure whatever it is so for that this particular environment was needed and it is it was provided by mri method medical um, sorry magnetic uh, uh, resonance imaging method so basically the resonance uh, here what what is happening resonance why because of magnetic environment okay understood guys so see here what what is happening you know uh, let's say for example if this is structure is of your brain structure okay so details are coming why because of medical imaging okay and which medical imaging is this nothing but your magnetic resonance so how this resonance is going to work we will uh, we will uh, go in very deep when we will be going uh, in mri but as of now only one thing is important why i am focusing and at what point i am focusing more this is nothing but magnetic environment so that whatever is there inside this particular environment it has to be resonate it has to be it, it has to work as catalyst so that whatever the different sources are actually uh, you know like uh, transferring uh, different kind of let's say radio waves or whatever it has to be it has to go faster enough with maximum resolution and why faster enough so that you should not be actually introduced in a radio radioactive environment for a longer while you have to be there for a, like for a short while or maybe if it is let's say if it is just x ray only what will happen 
you are purely introduced to radioactive environment but if it is electro um, uh, electromagnetic or magnetic environment this radiation will be minimized why this uh, that we will study in uh, mri that, then i'll explain you why uh, you know basic mri uh, in x ray how much time it is going to take somewhere around 15 to 20 minutes max to max ct scan the same thing 20 to 25 or 30 minutes max to max but in mri if you if you go back to mri in general they are taking more than 40 minutes for a single mri sometimes right they are scanning like anything and see it is not that much radioactive right then only they are putting a kind of human body inside this uh, uh, this uh, magnetic environment for a longer while for 30 40 minutes because this is not that much radioactive as x ray is as ct scanner is okay and why that we will study in mri why it is not that much radioactive clear next one is our positron emission tomography almost same concept but only here what is this a different kind of technology named as positron so the source at where you are using x ray at where you are using sound waves radio waves here positron will come into the picture at the source so this will be transferred from the source to the body to the subjected area and then image will be framed okay so there will be some that you call some tracers so this source will contain some tracers tracers means uh, let's say for example this kind of thing see here these are uh, these are called as tracers so if you see this this is normal ct right if you see there are very less detail like in this area in this area in this area right but in pet what is happen what happened here uh, there are some points which are tracers are actually used to get more and more details in one imaging itself in ct scan you have to do the scanning of multiple parts at different time but in pet the whole part will be scanned at once because of the tracers that is how this positron technology is going to work okay so the source it will contain the positron which will be emitted from the source then tracers will be there it will travel it will traverse along uh, along with the body whatever is actually subjected to be imaged or uh, uh, to be scanned and then uh, it will give you the detail uh, in the back part that's it but this particular technology is very much the kind of very detailed study will be uh, you know very detailed information will be coming out uh, from this okay from where from your pet so these are five different modalities one is also their nuclear medicine okay that we will uh, go later okay understood till now it is clear guys yes sir yes, sir i have a doubt sir yeah please uh, sir uh, you said that mri is used to visualize soft tissues bones and blood vessels sir yeah uh, then uh, why we need to go for ct sir directly we can go for mri no sir okay very nice question actually first first thing let like, very uh, basic thing see uh, let me just a minute please why this is not getting minimized okay see here i'm just looking for a free space okay in india first uh, we we need two different things right the first thing is technology to be what uh, to be effective and second and the most important thing is cost okay and from where it comes in india we are not developing any kind of mri machine so once you are going for mri scan the cost is going to be very high why because these all devices are coming from outside outside means usa germany different countries and uh, it is being assembled here in india and then being sold to the different uh, like uh you know radiology departments are uh, like that labs the cost 
first second ct scanners as i told uh, okay cost wise you understood right technology i'm telling you so technology ct scanners as i told they are radiation prone why because they are using x ray right how x ray directly they are uh, x ray uh, by default x rays is being used in ct also x ray is, is going to be used only the different in uh, different things in x ray and ct scanners here in x ray what is there one source is like this arranged in a ring structure so these two technologies are radioactive technologies that means radiation will be there and if let's say if you are going to scan your body using x ray for more than five times research shows that you will become this particular area at where five are more more than five times actually being scanned using x ray technology will be cancerous why because of radiation this particular uh, uh, you know cells uh, will we will, will become kind of uh, you know it will have kind of tumor structure or maybe it will be damaged which will be later on converted into dead cells and dead cells will start into no blood flow no blood flow means they will start uh, like uh, killing the other cells also that means whole area will be infected why because of this radiation so what this radiation is doing it is killing the cells cells means by default tissues 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 means by default organ so let's say if i am going to do the scanning of my heart using ct scanner for more than 5 or 10 times what will happen heart itself will become prone to radioactive uh, 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 to radiation first thing second thing again because you need as i told ct scanners are having what x rays that means hard structures because x rays are by default there uh, you are actually using uh, x rays for what only for hard structure kind of not exactly for soft structure that means by default ct scanners also will be actually used for hard structure but you can use for soft structures also because of you have multiple thing multiple uh, sources although they have minimized the x ray sources but still x ray source is being used right you are minimizing intensity of x ray but using one source of x ray with powerful intensity are using multiple sources with lesser density or lesser intensity it will have the same impact only one thing will be there more information will come from uh, your body if you are using ct but if you are using you are not actually using directly the x ray you are using the radio waves but not exactly the uh, uh, not uh, this x ray directly you are first creating a kind of environment so that you can minimize all the radiations and then you are using the source to scan the uh, 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 whatever the part and as i told because it is inside the whole tube that means you are actually uh, uh, going to be scanned from all different possible directions plus minus up down front back whatever understood yes sir so there are two points okay one is cost other is technology you should be clear with uh, both of things clear yes sir is that clear any any other person do you have any other doubt guys uh, till till uh, uh, till the point whatever we have discussed is that clear to you hello friends is that clear to you yes sir yes, yes sir yes sir. very very nice very nice i would like to be you know like interacted to each and every one if you will ask more and more questions it will be good for you and for me also okay now see why i am uh, uh, i have included this picture here if you see it has multiple things right gamma rays x rays ultraviolet infrared microwave right these all things are there so here here 
right in this area we are actually whatever you are seeing in front of your eyes and whatever you can see because of your eyes without any other medium this is your visible spectrum right so here starting from 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer this is your uh, this is the wavelength of your visible spectrum right but if you see here we will be working in c whether in sometimes in x ray because if you if you see here long radio waves in mri i told you about radio waves right c as less as if you can make the uh, frequency quantity kilohertz or megahertz or something like this right radiation probability will be less let's say if you are using gamma rays you know what gamma rays can do gamma rays can penetrate the wall wall means your home wall the which is made up of rocks and cement and bricks this is how the powerful the gamma rays are that means very very high frequency can you see this here it is getting increased right it means if you use these all frequencies which is very less it means you will be very less prone to radiation right so if you can make the use of these all waves infrared microwave right or maybe any different other rays if you can use these all waves you will be actually uh, like making the patient safe and with all uh, you know if you can develop the technology which can give the information using uh, this kind of frequency it will be very good to the uh, like human body and other you know, biological body also but see this is very high frequency right very very high frequency and wavelength is this much 10 to the power minus 8 10 to the power minus 10 this is uh, the kind of wavelength right so still the nanometer is okay wavelength is less but frequency is very high that means it will travel very fast if it is traveling very fast it means it will be uh, actually capable of damaging the soft tissues because of right so if if uh, if it will travel fast it will penetrate more and more fast so as fast at, uh, as it is going to travel the intensity will be very high so that impact will be very high okay so that we need the kind of lesser frequency or maybe higher wavelength okay if you see this this thing uh, let's say for example kind of long radio waves or this kind of thing you know the uh, mobile phone that you are using which kind of waves are there the kind of radio waves right wavelength is very very high so that it can transmit from your mobile phone to the satellite and can come back from satellite to a mobile phone okay so similarly if we can use this kind of radio waves in our it will be very good for us that is where the research is going on that is what the mri concept is okay so now we will actually start uh, looking into the physics of this uh, uh, you know sir amazing yeah sir i have a doubt sir yeah please uh, sir uh, you said x rays may can damage the internal tissues no, sir uh, yes. structures. Then yeah. how come it can be used in CT, sir? Uh, because uh, you can see the internal structures from using CT, no, sir. Yeah, see, as I told, X-ray is having only one source with very high intensity, right? In CT scanner, what is happening? The source is X-ray, okay, but the intensity is minimized. They are converted into some transmitters here and there are some let's say this is transmitter this is a receiver this is transmitter this is a receiver so here the intensity is minimized intense how it can be minimized using some technology that i'll definitely tell you uh, while explaining you know deep about the x-ray okay how uh, intensity is going to be dropped increased how it is uh, you know like uh, how they are going to work as catalyst but as of now for clarity what is important in x-ray direct x-rays are going to be used in the body with very high intensity but in ct scanners the same thing the source is actually only the uh, x-ray but tr here transducers and receivers are actually implanted and they are 
utilizing in this kind of structure that means let's say if this is source okay so uh, and this is gonna be what uh, like revolved this will be like revolving okay so this will come here this particular uh, 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 transducer will come here what is this transmitter this will take the energy from here and it will take the information it will pass a bit of uh, like uh, you know uh, what is this intensity to your body and transducer which is there just uh, next to this that means opposite side it will take the information here and now this is revolving now the next one will be for this right it will come here it will take the like uh, so, uh, energy from it that means that means intensity from the source and it will again trans uh, it will transfer the energy or intensity to to this area this particular uh, uh, receiver will receive it so this is trans uh, these two are transducer right one is transmitter one, one is receiver and what is happening one source is there this kind of structure is there and they are revolving so when this uh, transmitter is um, meeting to this intensity source or maybe source it is taking energy and transmitting it to the body other side which is a receiver it is uh, receiving the information what is being tra transmitted then next tra this transmitter will come to this source and it will take the in uh, uh, intensity and it will go to its uh, prior location and then it will scan other side of trans uh, receiver will receive it what happened here direct in x ray direct introduction uh, like introduction was there seeing this x ray directly you are using some transmitters and receivers so these transmitters uh, uh, this structure okay this structure have transmitter uh, transmitters and uh, receivers so this structure have actually x ray okay and it is actually minimized the intensity is minimized is that clear to you now yes sir okay so this is how uh, the direct impact of x ray is being minimized and so that it is not going to make uh, that much huge uh, what you can say uh, impact on your body okay so that it can be utilized for soft tissues as well but not for most of the time okay but yeah doctors are suggesting because you know like again people for very high cost like um, mri because a single mri scanning will cost them around 20000 25000 and depends upon the scanning areas also if if the whole body has to be scanned more uh, charges will come right so x ray is very very nominal right uh, 3000 300 400 500 700 depends right again ct scanners are like 800 900 1500 right? so most of the doctors uh, if they are concerned about uh, you know pricing and all so they suggest ct scanners instead of mri and uh, uh, x ray x ray is very prone to radiation and mri is very costly so that they come in between and most of the time the doctor suggest for ct scan so that they can get the detail uh, in very low impact understood yes sir. okay okay so let's stop here itself we will continue uh, you know this uh, this part basic physics of mis okay so we have uh, all the uh, you know like physics behind this how x ray works how ultrasound works how ct scan works uh, so we will discuss about this uh, uh, um, our next to next tomorrow next class that means which is on next to next day okay uh, which is on 12th right today is 10th so uh, whatever we have discussed today just a brief overview nothing how we are going to make your body part into a different different pixels so that we can visualize so that we can get the information what is happening inside what is happening interior to the human body that's it for that we have different technologies that we call in terms uh, in uh, our medical terms modalities okay and uh, uh, i am sure that you till now you have the clarity what is what is uh, that well, x ray ct scanners mri pet and ultrasound we will dive deep into these all modalities one by one okay this is uh, as i told this is very huge subject please don't skip a single class first thing second thing just go back and as i told just take one book maybe the prints you can take okay and read 
the same topic don't read anything other than this okay just read the same thing whatever we have discussed so sir, that you can get more clarity yeah please who is this sir can you use kanpur book uh, divya sir yeah 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 divya tell me sir can i use kanpur book for these Uh, Kanpur, you can yeah, you can use you can use, but uh, yeah, for clarity you can use. But if you want more and more kind of research oriented, problem solving oriented, you should go for Prince. Kanpur is like okay, you can get your uh, topics clear okay uh, in a very easy language. Okay, so you can use Kanpur fine, but you won't be getting uh, the high standard uh, of uh, you know. Uh, uh how you can do the research how can actually you can think about uh, in a different dimension uh, on a same topic okay, okay so kan really nice book okay but the thing is this it will actually only help you to clear your ideas so you can use uh, to understand in a easy language not an issue okay but you should make uh, the kind of standard uh, like references also okay yes. Okay, uh, guys. So, yeah, please. So, uh, what is the difference between uh, spect and pet, sir? Yeah. So, I'll I'll let you know as I, as I told. Okay, it will come into your PET. Okay. So, only one thing will be there. If see, this is nothing but spectrometry, right? That means the uh, you will be uh, sorry, you will be talking about. see these are the spectrums in spectrum what is their wavelength so if the wavelength will be high if the wavelength will be in moderate if the wavelength will be less so it will be actually penetrating more or less it will be in between so that technology will be changed right okay let's say for example if it is uh, spect okay so if it is spec that means whatever the positron that is going to be used here what will happen it will travel fast for that what what will be important the kind of supporting environment has to be dis designed differently what is not there in this which has kind of minimal or lower level of, of wavelength is that clear are, are you getting what i am telling you yes sir i get it yeah so only only the thing is the kind of design and what is this this design we half of the wavelength if this is positron okay how fast is it can travel in this environment okay so the wavelength is less how fast it can travel in this environment this is some other thing okay so to uh, to uh, to make the kind of two different or to uh, to categorize these two technologies two different names are given okay and then definitely if two different names are given uh, designs will be different designs if the designs are different that means working principle will be different and if the working principle are different different of changes will be there that we will explore clear yes sir okay so as of now only one thing what is that wavelength nothing else and then definitely technology i'll i'll, I'll discuss tomorrow uh, the uh, you know like we are uh, we are actually heading to the basic physics and these all things will be covered into the uh, physics okay how spec difference how different kind of uh, even in x ray also you know uh, if you go uh, for x ray so let's say if it if it is knee joint what is the intensity for knee joint if it is let's say for example uh, upper part of your body then what should be the uh, like x ray so even x ray imaging also there are multiple things in x ray imaging not only you just have to make only one setting and whole body using one intensity setting itself there are multiple things similarly in ct scanners also there are modular ct scanners normal ct scanners standard ct scanners multiple kind of ct scanners are there can uh, ring kind of structures uh, uh, normal structures multiple uh, uh, ct scanners are also there but before going to different different types we would like to know the physics behind all different modalities so that we can understand first okay this is how it works then definitely it will be easy to understand different version of the same thing 
right because you just need to upgrade the same thing nothing else only one thing is important to know how it works categorization is very easy but understanding is kind of tricky task that is where you should never lag okay guys so, so this... i have a small question sir yeah please so though the uh, intensity in ct is reduced but then the mm-hmm. exposure time is also increased right compared to x ray sir yep so but uh, despite all of this still is the x ray more radioactive than c this is why uh, anushka research is going on right this is why more and more modalities are coming not only for more details so that we can minimize uh, the radiation so that we can minimize the cost as well mri is very costly but pet is not that much but pet as of now is not that much explored so that pet is not being used in all the hospitals because of this radiation uh, definitely mri came because of again mr as as i told in mri also radio waves are being used right it means somehow and uh, uh, as you are asking like time is getting increased right in x ray just few minutes uh, but in ct scanner more and more minutes mri more and more and more minutes so time is like getting increased so if you are reducing the intensity of radiation but in other point you are increasing the time that means exposure is more and more so okay what will happen let's say in mri if you are putting a particular patient for 40 minutes maybe the subjected areas or other areas are getting scanned properly but what will ha- what will happen to very soft tissues like eyes what will happen to them these are very uh, and if you if you have opened your eyes for a longer while for 40 minutes in a very uh, electromagnetic and radioactive uh, environment what will happen in scanning more and more uh, details will come more and more information will come but you are actually prone to the radiation also so if you are going for two or three times of radi- uh, mri what will happen at least one part of your body most probably will be damaged why because you are exposed to the radiation for a longer very longer while right so uh, this is why I, i told you right research and development is continuously going on but in positive run there is very very less uh, kind of uh, chances for radiation as of now but still as i told it is less explored whether we can use this technology everywhere or not that i all details okay is that clear yes sir thank you sir yeah any other guys do you have any other questions krishna sanjana no sir i don't have no, any sir. questions yeah and uh, we have two sweta sweta do you have any question no sir no sir dear yes, sir Okay, nice. And uh, shiny, do you have anything? Okay, nice. Avantika, do you have any any questions? Any doubt? No, sir. Fine, fine. Okay, so let's start here. And uh, next class, we will discuss about the physics so that you can get more clarity on this before we dive into the different kind of questions and all. You should know first what is uh, you know uh, work the technologies is clear. Yes sir. Yes okay. sir. Okay. Okay guys. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Thank you sir. 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 Thank you. Thank you guys.